Hello, everyone. My name is Alexander Lucard, and I am the system administrator here for Montgomery County. Today, in this training, we're going to look at how to properly log in to your HMIS account and what to do if you need to get a password reset. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to log into this screen here. This is your Montgomery County HMIS system. If you have different COCs that you serve, like say Anne Arundel County or Washington DC, you're gonna have a different screen and a different website that you're gonna to go to. Each COC is different, but for Montgomery County, this is the one that you're going to log into. You're going to know that you're at the right location because right at the top is Montgomery County. So if you're trying to get into say Calvert County or someplace like that, you know you're in the wrong one because you see Montgomery County and vice versa. If you don't see Montgomery County and you're trying to get into the Montgomery County COC, you're probably in the wrong version of Service Point. This will happen a lot if you try to Google, you might get something like a Kentucky version of the HMIS Service Point system or a Pennsylvania one or a Colorado. So always make sure that you use the link that is provided to you by your system administrator or by Montgomery County. If you're not sure, you can always use the following abbreviation right here, which is HTTPS with your colon backslash backslash sp5.servicept.com backslash mcgov. And then if you're also going to have a copy of the PowerPoint version of this training, or you've actually been through an in-person training, you will be given this URL as well but that's the URL that will take you here for the Montgomery County Service Point entry. To log in, all you have to do is enter your username and password. Once you've been through an actual HMIS training with the system admin, you will receive a copy of your username and password, your account will be turned on and you'll be able to log in. So if this is the first time you're seeing HMIS, you're not gonna be able to log in because you don't have a username and password yet. And all you have to do is go that's my username and password. I've got my everything entered and I hit the login button. And if I have logged in correctly, it's going to take me to this screen here. And this is going to be your homepage dashboard for HMIS. And we'll get into what you do once you're actually logged in in other training. Things like backdating, enter data as, the difference between all the different little dashboard buttons here. But for right now, we're gonna log back out, which is this button right here, log out, and that takes you back to our screen. Now, what happens if you just enter the wrong password? You're gonna get a little warning like this, login not correct, please re-enter information. Now, you have three chances to enter your username and password correct. If after three times you still have not gotten it right, the system is going to lock you out and you will not be able to do anything. If you are locked out and you get the message that says you're locked out, please contact your system administrator, or you just can't remember your password. Maybe you've been off for two weeks um, on vacation. You've come back and you just find you can't remember your password. We have this little button right down here, forgot password. This is all you're going to need. So we're just gonna click on this little link here. You can see it's in blue writing. And it's underneath the login button. We click forgot password and it will say to reset your password, please enter your username below. The password reset email will then be sent to this email address associated with the username entered. So again, remember you want to enter your username. This is my username. I hit send and it's gonna say, hey, your password's been forgotten. Now it's going to, it can take up to a few minutes for this password to arrive. You're going to get an email, check your spam filters or your junk filters just to be safe, but there's going to be a URL that you're just going to cut and paste into your browser, and that's going to help you to reset your password. And of course, if for whatever reason you don't get it, um, again, check those spam filters in your junk email file just to be safe. You can always contact myself, Bezo, or any other member of the HMIS team here at Montgomery County and we can do a manual reset for you as well. It's best that you use the actual forgot password link, however, because that will get it to you faster because what if we're in a meeting or we're off for the day, 
we want you to be able to get into HMIS sooner rather than later. So that's why you want to use this forgot password link. And again, the most important thing is remember to enter your username. Do not do an email address like alexandrelucard at doodoodoodoo.com because you know what? The email will not be generated. Again, it's looking for your HMIS username, not your email, not your Gmail account, not your county email account, not your work account, not your personal account. Do not put an email address in here. Otherwise, you will not get the email with your password reset. You have to have your username in here. As you see, we typed earlier, Lucara01. We'd hit the send button, and it's going to generate that email. So if you put in your email instead of your username, you're never going to get that system-generated email sent into your inbox. And then you're never going to get your password reset. And then you're going to have to contact me and go, hey, Alex, I never got the email. And I'll have to do it for you manually which is totally cool. I'm more than happy to do that. But we always want to make sure that you try the Paragot password first and that you put in your username, not your email, to ensure that you get that. Again, you're going to be logging into HMIS here. You're going to be doing your username and password. You're going to click log in. And if you've done it correctly, it's going to take you here to the Montgomery County Continuum of Care website with all the little client points, service point, report buttons, and then also things that you're going to have to do in the upper right hand corner as well. And we're going to be covering what else you do once you've successfully logged into HMIS in a different training. For now, feel free to watch this video again if you have any more questions. There's also a PowerPoint presentation that you can read if you're more of a reading style learner than a listen watching learner. And feel free to reach out to us if you still have any questions at this time. Thank you very much for attending this training, and we hope you have a great day.